face mask required to enter. <laughs> Pay with Google, we don't like cash. Cash is scary. So we are in downtown Austin. What gives in downtown? <laughs> so I'm like putting my stuff together and a guy pulls up. He pulls up to his to the curb in his car, rolls down his window, you know, all sly like those guys that are looking for sex, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, so he slides down there and goes, waves at me, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, it's okay, I'm not a whore. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, I know, I know, I know, no, you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm a photographer, I'm not a whore. <laughs> I would never think you're a whore. Yeah, you put down your window like you thought I might be. That's what they do, man. That's the look. That's and the come hither whore look. <laughs> and the damn whore. <laughs> not that, you know, I mean, people got to do what they got to do. And I feel terrible for people that are having to whore themselves out. But that's where we're at, man. Oh, that stay home, be safe order of June 23rd. Masks are required. That's not actually what the stay home order, whatever. It's not even order. It's a proclamation, okay? So what are they saying? Yeah, everybody says all this positive shit, and they put up this stupid cartoons, and together apart. <laughs> Social distancing. Yeah, you can be social, but from a distance. Okay, and then this. I don't know what this is for. Is this, to, I don't know. Some other way that we can protect ourselves from ourselves. I suppose that's what it is. I don't know, maybe they're, I don't know, man. Maybe they're putting in railway like they did in Germany, where they can put people in camps. I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> because stuff they've been doing. I mean, if somebody told you a year ago, everybody would have to cover their face with cloth. It could be any cloth, anything. If somebody told you that a year ago, and then you had to stand six feet away from people, you couldn't hold hands with anyone, you couldn't shake hands, you can't even bump elbows anymore. You can't have human contact. No human contact. That's illegal dangerous you will have no purpose in life anymore per directions of the people that don't actually write laws yeah if somebody told you that a year ago you'd say <laughs> they don't even do that in China that's so crazy that wouldn't happen that sure as hell wouldn't happen in the United States of America come on that's what you would say that's what we all would say, racist. So they cover it up until they can uh, destroy it, which they will do. Oh yeah, they're getting ready to destroy everything. Hence, lock down. Lock you down so you don't notice what the hell they're doing. The next time you come out, you're gonna go, what the hell happened here? Good. Yeah, they said, put on a mask. Did you said, what kind? They said, stay in your house you said for how long they said no going outside and you said okay all right whenever you tell me it's all right i'll come back out yeah the government tells you to do something you're like hell yeah i'll do that i'm up for it yeah i'm gonna make everybody protected by doing that sure just tell me when and what i'll do it Stay at home, close your business, don't shop, you're not essential, no going to the park, parks are dangerous places now, don't let your children out, no school for children, don't visit your parents, you cannot visit your parents anymore because it's too damn dangerous, you're going to kill them if you go visit them, and even if they, after they are dead, you still can't see them, no funerals. You know, that's really hard. Like, how do you know if somebody's really dead if there's no funeral, man? How do you know? I think there's a resurgence of tuberculosis. I mean, could be something else, but I think it's TB. Ground glass in the lungs, being coughing up blood. Like, I think the world is just too screwed up for life. Not that I'm going to die or anything, because that's just not me. But 
a lot of people are. And they're not dying from any crony baloney. They're dying from killing themselves because they have no purpose. They have no job. They don't know what the hell they're going to do. So they kill themselves. Permanent solution to, I don't know, I mean, it could be a permanent situation we're in. I hope we're not. Hey, I'll talk to you guys later.